Did I remember to air out my hockey bag from last night? Crap. You know what? I don't think I did. Nope. Still shut. Yep, that'll do. Oh my God, what is in there? <sighs> that is something else. I don't think I have one piece of new equipment in this bag. Growing up, I always kind of went with the used, used equipment, uh, kind of cheaper, more affordable, um, that's still usable obviously, but it's not the top end elite equipment um, that maybe you guys are used to seeing or that you use yourselves. This is just kind of to show you guys what I'm working with and also kind of a wake up call for me to maybe, you know, realize it's time to invest in some new equipment. So let's start from the bottom here. The first thing I put on is, yes, the jock strap. It's an Under Armour jock strap. I've used it for a long time. It's really good quality. Um, the straps haven't broken at all. I'm really happy about that. It's Velcro, keeps my socks up. I don't even need to use clear tape with my socks because this pretty much does the job. The only thing is that it's really, really goddamn smelly and I definitely need a new one at some point. Next. So after the jock strap is on, we put on our shin pads here. These are Jofa. Hyper X 5500s. These shin pads are awesome, especially being a defenseman. These are really, really helpful. I mean, blocking shots, taking slashes in beer league, of course. I mean, the lining here doesn't really come out and it's full of like dog hairs and sweat and other nastiness. It looks all discolored, smells awful. This is probably one of the worst smelling pieces of equipment that I own. The shell themselves are very solid. Uh, they, they're pretty flexible and they keep me covered. They've protected me a lot throughout the years. One thing is that the straps are starting to come off a little bit here. Um, so I feel like it's only a matter of time before these straps uh, fall off and, I, and I'll need to replace these. But this is kind of one of the uh, pieces of equipment that are in the best shape in my bag. So after you put on the uh, shin pads, you gotta put on your socks. Now these are my beer league socks. They're the old kind of cotton socks that, uh, I, I mean, these are the ones I'm used to. These are the only kinds of socks that I've ever used. I definitely wanna try to upgrade to the newer, like more modern, uh, I think Reebok or CCM versions. Uh, these are pretty much just your basic, like wool, almost, cotton, I don't know what they're made of, cotton wool socks. They tear really easily, almost immediately here. I've got rips in this one here and here, and then my other sock, I've got a big tear right there, right at the thigh area. So, I mean, it's not really a good look. Next, now it's time for the pants. Now these are probably one of the saddest pieces of equipment that I have in my bag. They are uh, Bauer Senior Pants. They're Supreme Tens. The pants themselves are actually really solid. The padding here is really good. Uh, they fit great. The only issue is, I mean, I'm a suspenders guy and you know, these straps, I mean, I, the connection's all busted. I was just holding it with clear tape, but at, it's not really working. And the other side too, this part of my suspender broke already, so I just had to tie it to whatever was left on the strap. I can't even tighten this one at this point because the whole mechanism is all bunched up here. We're almost done our lower body. The last thing is obviously the most important thing, your skates. So this one is a Bauer Vapor uh, X4 skate, again, used. I don't know how old it is. So I recently just upgraded the laces, so these are pretty much brand new, but the rest of the skate, yeah, is not, uh, not ideal. I think they might be a little too small now because I bought these, I don't know, three or four years ago. I feel like my foot has gone up at least half a size, so I think uh, I may need to upgrade. I mean, you can tell they're, they're very worn down. Uh, they got rips here, they got really scuffed up on the toe there, but take blocking all those shots and getting stepped on. The blade is in decent condition. It's a Tuic. Uh, 
blade. I need to get a sharpened, I think. I don't remember the last time I got a sharpened. And even the screws, they're all rusted and stuff like that. So it's not really an attractive skate, but it does the job. Skate guards, like I said, are just from played against sports. I like these, but the only thing is they like catch a lot of water and after a certain point, they don't really dry that quickly. So these are still wet after my game last night. And I could use an upgrade in this department as well. Next. So we put on the skates and now it's time to put on the shoulder pads. All right, so let me grab these real quick. These are uh, kind of Reebok, but also Jofa. They're wet, but it doesn't smell too bad. So I'm actually pretty happy with these. Along with my uh, shin pads, one of the newest pieces of equipment that I own. I mean, you can tell they look in pretty good condition. They've got some sweat stains here, but the straps are all really solid. The padding is, is nice and new and it's big. I like the spinal support down the back here. The shoulders are good. I mean, I don't really need that good shoulder pads because I'm not playing contact hockey anymore, but things always happen as you see from my GoPro videos. I don't think I'll be upgrading these anytime soon. My neighbor just started mowing his lawn. Unreal. I'll start recording again when he's done. So where were we? Elbow pads. These are uh, old like maroon and blue bowers. Uh, Bauer EP1000. The one thing I don't like about these is that the straps are like way too long for some reason. This is the sticky Velcro part and the soft Velcro parts here. So when you want to do it up, they don't align at all. So I had to like twist it a bunch of times to shorten it so that it stays somehow like that. Otherwise it's good coverage, good comfort. I like these, but the straps, I mean, could obviously be a lot better. Next. Neck guard, this is a piece of equipment that I don't always wear and recently I haven't been wearing in my beer league games just because it's not really uh, mandatory. I think I need an alternative solution. This is kind of the big neck guard. It wraps around pretty much my whole neck. Uh, it's not really a good look, like aesthetically wise. I'm gonna have to invest in some like, you know, under garments that have like a built-in neck guard on them just so that it's kind of a more cleaner look because I think I've outgrown this big bulky neck guard style. Now it's time to uh, throw on our gloves. From the back, they look pretty solid, but when you turn them around, yikes. Both hands are in rough shape. My thumb's poking through there. My pinky's poking through here. Smell awful, but they get the job done. I mean, I really would like to just experiment with new equipment and see, you know, maybe these are so much heavier than the new gloves that are on the market right now. Because uh, I don't really know. I'm kind of a, a noob when it comes to hockey equipment. I've played hockey for my whole life, but in terms of actually knowing what's new um, and what's out there and what's available, not really up to speed. I definitely need to invest in some new gloves. The second most important piece of hockey equipment is the helmet. This one is a Bauer. As you could tell, I'm not really brand loyal. I don't have like full, you know, one brand. I've got a little Bauer here, some Reebok, Jofa, iTech, Easton. I'm all over the place. I've got a Bauer helmet, Nike Bauer, with the Bauer visor as well, the half visor. And of course you can see the GoPro mount there. It's a really comfortable helmet. I like it, it's kind of got, it's not foam, it's kind of that squishy kind of gel stuff inside. Uh, it's adjustable, so it fits my head really nicely. And I mean, it protects my head from sticks and pucks and punches and whatever else comes flying at my head. Next. I've said this before in another video when I got a puck to the face, you should go watch that. Click the I button up there. If you haven't, this is a lifesaver. You need to have a mouth guard if you're playing hockey, regardless if you're playing with a visor, with a full cage, doesn't matter. You need a mouth guard to protect from concussions or pucks or sticks or anything else coming at your face because this is a tiny investment. A trip to the dentist where you need to replace uh, a row full of teeth is much more expensive, so it's definitely worth it. And even though you have to look like this, it's worth it. <laughs> Next. So now I'll kind of go through some of the accessories. So this is my GoPro that I use to film all of my beer league videos. This is the Hero Plus. This is the mount. You basically just slide it on like that. And that's basically what it looks like when I'm filming my GoPro games. All right, so some other accessories. I've got my water bottle. It's still full of water, apparently. Yep, still full, okay, cool. I've got my... Uh, Micro layer sports uh, visor spray and my microfiber cloth that I use together with that to clean my visor when it gets dirty. Bunch of rolls of black tape here for my sticks. 
with uh, some ice wax, stick wax, broken freshener that was probably been there for six months and is definitely not working anymore. I've got another little roll of tape here from the boys at Howie's Hockey Tape. This is my bag and it is one from uh, when I used to play minor hockey since Pee Wee, which is about age uh, 11 uh, or 12, I moved to number 15. I was number four for a while, but then I moved on to 15. This bag is made by Kobe. It's, it's all right, it does the job, but I mean, it's seen better days. It's ripped all over the place. Uh, this one zipper works, but this one uh, completely broke off, so I pretty much can only zip that way. The straps actually hung on, and, and it's uh, in pretty good shape, but I mean, the one thing, and I've seen this from other brands like Pacific Rink is, there's like a lot, there's no organization. This is just your bare bones hockey bag. There's no extra pouches or this or that to store anything like our accessories. Basically, I just gotta throw everything here into there. So we've done all the equipment. I've unpacked all that. I've shown you guys my bag. Now it's time to move on to probably what most of you guys were most excited for, the sticks. So I've got three in my uh, collection right now that I use. I uh, haven't yet used the uh, Elevate stick. It's the, uh, the bent one that, you know, you can see right there very clearly the bend in the stick. This is my main stick. It's the uh, No Name Hockey green custom stick that I got. I think it was last year or at least six months ago. Um, it's their older model. They've got newer models, but No Name Hockey is an awesome new hockey company. They got pro stock sticks that you can customize. For mine, I got my TDI hockey on the on the shaft and my number 15, as you saw in my bag. I got the uh, 88 No Name Curve, 87 Flex, and 6 Lie uh, grip version. I'm a righty. Um, it's a solid stick. I love it. This is the main stick that I use. So, I mean, if you guys want to go check it out, head to No Name Hockey Co. and uh, type in TDI Hockey for 15% off your order. Now we'll look at my backup. This is the Easton Synergy uh, Yellow. I God, I don't know how old this is. Must be like at least six or seven, maybe eight years old. It was my main stick back in the day, but it's got demoted. Uh, it's literally an emergency. Like I literally just don't have any other stick that you know I'm ready to use in a game. We'll talk about the Elevate stick, but yeah, this one's Eastern Synergy SC6 grip. Um, it's yellow, so the, my color scheme in terms of my equipment's all over the place. Kind of like to get cohesive at some point, but this stick, you know, it does the job. It's 85 flex and it's a Joe Sackett curve. So, I mean, that kind of tells you how old it is. And last but not least, we have the thing of beauty, the curved Elevate hockey stick. Now this one is super exciting. I've still actually yet to uh, try this bad boy out and I'm so excited to. They sponsored one of my uh, NHL 18 tournaments earlier in the summer. They successfully funded their Kickstarter and now these are being mass produced to the public. It's a crazy stick. Look at that curve. Can you guys see that? Look at that insane curve right there. But yeah, it's the XL27 dual axis bent hockey stick. 85 flex around there is my kind of go-to. Um, and it's a uh, VEE92 curve on this one. Uh, looks pretty good. I mean, again, I'm so excited to just get on the ice and try this one. All right, guys. Well, that just about does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have the uh, task of putting all this back into my bag. And I guess this is kind of a little shout out cry for help. Uh, any hockey companies who see this video, if you want to send it to some hockey companies and tell them that TDI needs some new hockey equipment, be sure to hit them up and hit me up and maybe we'll make something happen. Maybe a uh, company's gonna step up and pimp my bag and I'll make a separate video about that if that ever comes to fruition, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. If you have any other equipment suggestions, feel free to drop it in the comment section down below, guys. And until next one, I'll see you guys then.